Two MPs are leaving Parliament, uh, but the media are sort of sad about one in particular that they're leaving. See if you can figure out which it is. So two MPs, oh, can I just say that uh, we're still doing our holiday version, school holidays, so coming from a slightly different uh, location than the normal cafe. Two MPs are stepping down. One of them is Louisa Wolfe from the Labour Party and the other is Simon Bridges from the National Party. And there has been a bit of a contrast in terms of the coverage. I want to have a look at their voting record to ask which one are we going to miss. Louisa Wall and Simon Bridges have come to uh, loggerheads on a few issues. Just recently on the uh, Conversion Therapy Select Committee, there was a debate uh, because there was a concern that parents and pastors and medical professionals were going to be criminalised if they didn't affirm a person, a child, into a transgender lifestyle. In other words, if they said, let's watch and wait. And of course, if you don't follow the medicalized process of, of encouraging a child to identify as the opposite sex as they want, then that could be deemed to be conversion therapy. And so there was this debate between Louisa Wall and Simon Bridges. That's a completely erroneous interpretation of the law by Louisa Wall. Would, on the plain words of this bill, what you were doing would be captured by the bill. No, it, absolutely, no way. It would. And I don't, you know, we could argue this. Yeah, agree, Stop putting your contestable view of what the law says with zero legal expertise uh, in front of the committee, Louisa. Okay, so uh, not too friendly. In fact, Louisa Wall was very busy because um, there was two sort of uh, gender identity issues. There was a conversion therapy bill, but there was also the birth certificate bill going through and Louisa Wall managed to find her way onto both select committees. And she was upset when people turned up to the birth certificate uh, legislation saying that actually if you're born male, then you are male. And if you're born female, you are female. And um, she wasn't happy that people weren't buying into the gender ideology. Trans women, trans identifying males. Um, I want to note that's incredibly harmful. Yeah, well, unfortunately, calling people who are born biologically female, calling them female, uh, it's not harmful. It's actually just speaking the truth. But I want to look at the voting record and specifically around the conscience issues, the moral issues, the, uh, the family and pro-life uh, voting record of both Louisa Wall and Simon Bridges. So let's have a quick look at this. And uh, we've got the breakdown here. On the left hand side, we've got Louisa Wall and on the right hand side, Simon Bridges. Uh, and as you can see on same-sex marriage, on euthanasia, on some of the protective clauses around euthanasia, like conscientious objection and calling off, and around the drugs issue, uh, Louisa Wall generally scored a black mark, and Simon Bridges uh, were good votes, apart from the marriage conscience issue of protecting, um, for example, marriage celebrants from being forced to having to marry same-sex couples if they wanted to keep their license. Uh, then if we look at the abortion legislation and all the safeguards around that, like fetal pain provision, sex selection bans, uh, late term limits and parental notification, you can see uh, black marks for Louisa Wall and very strong pro-life voting record for Simon Bridges. A little bit different on the banning of street prostitution. They both opposed banning street prostitution. They both supported raising the drinking age. Uh, and one mark for Louisa Wall was Easter trading. She opposed liberalising the Easter trading laws, whereas uh, Simon Bridges supported liberalising. And then when it came to the more recent legislation, conversion therapy bill, you can see there that uh, basically Louisa Wall was supporting a ban, wasn't concerned about protecting parent-child talks or opinion or parental consent or protecting health practitioners didn't want to take prayer out of being included as a form of conversion therapy and didn't want a three to five year review. Simon Bridges had a very good voting record on that one. On the birth certificate legislation, uh, they both supported that unfortunately. The National Party lost their way on that particular issue. And Louisa Wall has been campaigning strongly on abortion safe zones. She wants no limits to abortion uh, and is, doesn't want people outside uh, with prayer vigils or offering counselling of any sort. Fortunately, Simon Bridges did oppose that legislation. So overall, out of 28 bits of legislation that we judged them on, uh, Louisa Wall got two that we would say were good, strong pro-family votes. And Simon Bridges got a credible 24 out of 28. So he did uh, very well. But it's for this reason 
that uh, he was treated differently by the media to Louisa Wall. Uh, and just watch these two clips, both by Jack Tame from Q&A. Uh, and the first one is with Louisa Wall. Yeah. April 2022, more than a decade since you first set foot in Parliament. As of today, New Zealanders can marry whomever they love. People are better protected from revenge porn and female genital mutilation. They can access abortions via safe zones. Their names can be recorded on their children's birth certificates, even if they're deceased. And that's you. That is all you. Uh, so very friendly interview. And of course, you know, um, championed um, same-sex marriage, championed abortion, championed safe zones, uh, very supportive of euthanasia. So a very friendly interview. Now contrast that one with uh, Jack Tame interviewing Simon Bridges recently. Um, I want to ask you about the conversion ban that was passed through Parliament last, uh, this week. And of course, this was opened up to a conscience vote to MPs. Now I've got a clip from breakfast earlier this week that I want to play you. This is uh, both of our old mate, Maddie McLean, speaking to Christopher Luxon. And I look back at Simon Bridges, his appearance at the 2019 Big Gay Out. At the time he said, it's incredibly important that everyone knows national is a place, uh, uh, is national is about diversity, inclusiveness, and of course, making sure that New Zealand is a place you can be who you are and be who you want to be. So Manny McLean put that to your party leader, but I want to put it to you. Uh, you voted against the ban on conversion therapy. So were those words a couple of years ago just bollocks? Ah, so very different, wasn't it? Yeah, um, apparently what Simon Bridges said and what he believes uh, could be termed under something like bollocks. And see, Simon Bridges is bad, bad, bad because he voted against same-sex sex marriage. He uh, voted against liberalising abortion laws, against euthanasia, voted against the ban on conversion therapy because he was concerned about the effect on parents. And so uh, the media aren't too pleased with him, but they're very sad that Louisa Wall is retiring from politics. From our point of view, you just have to look at the voting record to see that there are two MPs leaving uh, and one of them will miss. And that will be Simon Bridges. Mm -hmm.